Hey there, it's Dr. Drea, now coming to you on YouTube. So this is the first installment of what I'm calling Dr. Drea, Cyber Gal for Jesus, Words of Encouragement or Woes. My prayer is that these short woes will inspire others to confidently embrace their uniqueness and to remain steadfast in their journey as followers of Christ in these physical and cyber streets. The objective of this first video is to give an introduction that hopefully demonstrates why and how I believe God has strategically equipped and positioned me to share these particular words of encouragement via this cyber slash virtual platform. Perhaps it all started during my senior year in high school when I took an introduction to computer programming class where I was introduced to online chat rooms, which were the precursor to today's WhatsApp and Twitter. Admittedly, I spent lots of time in these virtual chat rooms during my first year of college in Chicago, when I should have been focusing on my studies, especially since I knew that God was the only one to have created the opportunity for me to attend a very prestigious and academically rigorous university. Not surprisingly, it was literally God's mercy, evidenced by my parents' patience and tough love, that I made it through my first year of college, especially since my grades suffered tremendously because of my online and offline extracurricular activities. Eventually, during my second and fourth year of college, I was blessed to study abroad in Italy and Greece, respectively, and then shortly after I graduated from college, my family and I traveled with our church to Israel. It was during these travels that my journey to learn about and to desire to know the Ancient of Days began. Nevertheless, one year after graduating from college and without entirely knowing my God-given purpose, I decided to join the Army to pay off my undergraduate student loans. After my military basic and job training, I was stationed overseas in Europe in the early 2000s, where I joined local ministries that taught the word of God in a manner that challenged me to want to know and apply the word to my daily life. Amazingly, it was also during this period that I even enrolled into graduate school where the Army paid for my degree to learn more about computer and information systems. After serving my four-year enlistment in the Army and earning my Master's of Science degree, I worked in both the public and private sectors. However, when I saw that my path to higher pay and promotion was not readily available, I sensed that I needed more education to go ahead and attend law school. I eventually came to believe that it was God who sent me to a law school where I would study the law in an, in an environment where we were challenged to recognize how the American judicial system was once and still could be used to oppress, suppress, and abuse certain people. And just as God took me on journeys to explore ancient cities and computerized systems, he was taking me on a journey to learn the law with a different perspective. So after graduating from law school and once again working in both the public and private sectors, I elected to return to school and to earn a doctoral degree in business with a concentration in information security. At that time, I believed that obtaining more education would mean earning more money. Shout outs to Brown University's Dr. Patricia Rose and Duke University's Dr. William Darity on their longstanding research debunking the notion that more education equates to higher income, particularly for people of color. Clearly, times have changed from education being the key to unlock the golden doors of freedom, as heralded by George Washington Carver, who was a premier example of God-given genius packaged in a humble black man. Still, I believe that while education is vital, especially for us believers, we must hold on to knowing that God alone is the one who gives lasting freedom, sustainable promotion, and true riches, which often defies human understanding and transcends even our natural and social networks. So until next time, it's Dr. Drea encouraging us to continue to reflect Jesus even in these cyber streets.